Hey guys, and welcome to episode 10 of my Road to 120 Slayer series. Before I start today's episode, I do want to mention that the playlist for the entire Road to 120 Slayer series will be linked in the description down below, so if you guys missed out on some of those videos, definitely check out that playlist. Anyway guys, we have a lot going on in this video. We did two Reaper tasks as well as five more Slayer tasks and got a lot of gains. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. So starting off the first task of the video, we got 71 dinosaurs. So again, this is always one of my favorite tasks. I am going to be going with the brutish dinosaurs like usual. And this is because I find they give the most XP per hour. They give 3100 XP per kill, so that is really nice. And they are somewhat AFK um, since you do have a safe spot. Now you do have a safe spot for all of the other dinosaurs as well. Um, but for these ones, they give the most XP per per kill so that is the main reason why I am killing them opposed to the other dinosaurs. The loot from brutish dinosaurs also tends to be pretty good as well so that is just a nice bonus with this task. Also since it is over the holidays I was actually obtaining 1.1 times XP for all of these slayer tasks in this video so that really did help with the gains a lot. And so jumping into the loot we got from this task around 2.5 mil and we also got 242,000 Slayer XP, so this was pretty good. The task took around one hour to complete, so not too bad. The loot was a little bit worse than usual, um, but still you always get some pretty good XP per hour. And our next task, we get 69 Nihils. Now I have been getting Nihils quite frequently lately, so um, I'm not too mad about this. I actually do really like Nihils, and they are really great GP per hour. Um, especially when you do make the Nihil pouches, so that is what I am going to be doing. If you guys don't already know, you should focus your efforts on the Smoke Nihils as opposed to the other ones. This is because their mechanic is a lot easier to avoid. You just need to drink an Overload, and this will basically just bypass their mechanic. They won't be able to lower your stats, and this will pretty much make it really easy to kill. And the main drop you're going to want to be picking up is the Avianchi Talons. We did get a lot of these um, for this task. As you can see in my Beast of Burden already, we have around 13 of them, so that is pretty good. Moving on to the total loot from this task, we made around 800k just in the common loot. We also got around 43,000 Slayer XP, so not too much uh, compared to other Slayer creatures, but you do make a lot of money from Nihils, and this task only took around 20 minutes to complete. And so most of the money does come from the Nihil pouches. As you can see, I have the Avianchi Talons, which are made for the Smoke Nihil pouches, although the Blood Nihil pouches seem to be the most profitable at this time of recording. So I am going to be transmuting them all into the Vampire Fangs, and this only costs 10 Elder Energy to do, so it is definitely worth doing. And I will be able to make the Blood Nihil pouches instead of the Smoke Nihil pouches, giving me an extra 20k profit per pouch. And so here we go. We have made all of the Blood Nihil pouches, a total of 13 of them. And looking at the loot, we have obtained around 1.7 mil adjust from the Nihil pouches. So this added on to the 700k gives us around 2.4 mil for this task. So definitely really great. And so if you guys can remember from episode 9, we did obtain a Brunish Dinosaur Egg from our task. I did receive a few comments on the last video saying I should sell it. So I did in fact do that. It was listed at 1.5k. So I figured I'd sell it for 1 mil and it sold for 10.5 mil. So this is much more than I was expecting. I'm really glad I did end up selling it. So that is going to be added to the loot for this video. Anyway, next I decided to pick up a Reaper task. We ended up getting a Raxi, which is by far my favorite boss. So I was really happy with this task. And we got four of them. So I haven't killed a Raxi in quite some time, but it didn't really take too long to uh, figure it out again. I have killed over 400 of them, so I am pretty good at killing a Raxi by now. It would be really cool to get some leg pieces and hopefully even to finish out a leg on my road to 120 Slayer, I think that would be incredible and really boost the profit for this series. So hopefully we do manage to get some unique drops and get some more Araxi Reapers because this is by far my favorite. 
So the loot from the first kill, we did get a really good drop, 2.2 mil. We got the Onyx Bolt drop, so that is always a really great drop to have at Araxi. For our second drop, we didn't get anything too special. We got the Rune Salvage drop, only 400k, but still not too bad. And for the third drop, around 338k, we got the really bad drop in the 10 seeds. And then for the last drop, another 1.2 mil. We got eight magic seeds in this drop. So definitely a really good trip at Araxi. Got four of them killed, took around 40 minutes, and we made around four mil. Anyway, now jumping back into some more Slayer tasks, we got a Creature of the Lost Grove task. So definitely another really great task, one that I really do enjoy doing. And you do get a lot of XP from these tasks. And so just a few kills in, we managed to level up our Slayer level. Once again, we are at 111 Slayer now. So we are well on our way to 120 Slayer. I decided to kill the Bulbous Crawlers again. I think they are the easiest to kill, as I have said in previous episodes. I'll probably change it up and kill some Moss Golems eventually, uh, just to give myself a little bit of a change. And it really has been some time since we have obtained a unique drop in this series, or at least a really expensive unique drop. Uh, so hopefully we do manage to get another set of Cinderbane gloves. The last set we got in, I believe, episode 2 or 3, so it has been a really long time. And so looking at the loot from this task, no uniques. We made around 1.6 mil, and also 267,000 Slayer XP, so that is the best thing about this task, is the Slayer XP. The loot we obtained is pretty average, uh, and this took around one hour to complete, so definitely isn't very good in terms of loot, but the XP is pretty nice. Anyway, moving on to our next task, we got 152 Eretz. Eretz definitely aren't my favorite Slayer task. I don't really mind them, but I really do find them to be a lot worse than other Slayer creatures, uh, especially the newer ones like the Lost Grove creatures and Dinosaurs and Bioblooms. Um, just their XP per hour I find are much lower and then their drops aren't even as good. And if you guys watched my most anticipated updates in 2020, one suggestion that I did mention was a bit of a Slayer rework or at least adding new Slayer creatures. So I hope they do implement that into the game, maybe boost the XP on some older Slayer creatures like Eretz and Dark Beasts and maybe even add some more high level Slayer creatures in the game. Anyway, looking at the loot from this task, we actually did get some pretty good loot, around 3.1 mil. Most of this came from the Serenic scale, so that was a little bit of a lucky uh, two drops. We got two of them, and usually you don't get any, so that was really nice. The XP, 133,000, so overall it was a pretty solid task, took around one hour to complete. And picking up our next Slayer task, we got another Nihil task. So again, I am pretty happy about this. Nihils are really great money. And I love just boosting up my Slayer tab. So again, I'm using the same strat as before, only killing the Smoke Nihils with the Overloads active. Pretty basic and definitely really effective. I also ended up transmuting all of my Aviantry Talons into the Demon Horns this time since they actually were the most expensive and they are currently selling for around 138k each. And so looking at our total loot from this task, we made around 2.1 mil, most of the money coming from the Nihil pouches again, and then also we got 38,000 Slayer XP, so the only downside about the Nihil Slayer task is it is really low Slayer XP, but it definitely does boost up that Slayer loot tab very nicely. And this task only took around 20 minutes to complete, so definitely really good GP per hour. And so instead of picking up another Slayer task, I wanted to do another Reaper to end off this episode. We got another Chaos Elemental task, so we did get this in the episode before. The main strategy you want to use with the Chaos Elemental is have your inventory full. This way it cannot disarm you and that just gets really annoying. So make sure you have your inventory full with food or whatever um, just to make sure this does not happen. And that is basically the main mechanic that you need to watch out for for the Chaos Elemental. Otherwise, it is a pretty easy boss to kill. So looking at our loot from the Chaos Elemental, we got around 200k. So not bad. We got the Dragon Two-Hand Sword, which I believe is a unique from the Chaos Elemental. So that was pretty nice and nice to add to the collection log. And that is pretty much it for this episode. Looking at the loot tab, it's looking really, really nice. 
it's worth over 210 mil right now so that is really crazy and we made 27 mil in this episode alone and that does include selling the dinosaur egg that we got in the previous episode um, we also got around 724,000 Slayer XP. We made it up to 111 Slayer, so that was really nice. And for the total on the series, we got around 10.5 mil Slayer XP gained. And of course, our Slayer loot tab is now worth 210 mil. So anyway guys, we are doing really well on the series. I believe we need around 60 million Slayer XP to go, so that is quite a ways away. But hopefully we do manage to get that relatively soon. I am really looking forward to doing some more Slayer tasks, getting some more uniques. And I'm thinking I'm going to kick up the Reaper tasks quite a bit, do a few more per video now. Uh, and I'm going to be looking to get some higher level bosses like Araxi because those are just much more fun to complete. And I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy that some more too. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, even some recommendations for the series, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.